Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling. In this session of the video, we're actually going to talk about the abdominal muscles. So remember, when we're talking about the abdominal muscle, remember there are five group of abdominal muscles. It means there are five types of muscle that are in abdominal region. The main muscle that there are, and these muscles are divided into two groups, that is flat muscles and vertical muscles. The flat muscles are the on horizontal section like they are horizontally and coming a little bit down and the vertical muscles are exactly vertical uh, those five muscles if I name them and I will be showing you in this diagram later on that those five muscles are rectus uh, we have got the rectus abdominis we have the uh, paramedialis uh, in the vertical section vertical muscles and in flat muscles we have the uh, uh, you know internal oblique external oblique and transverse abdominus muscle so we'll be talking about uh, one by one for each of those muscles and uh, how this uh, uh, middle structure called linea alba is formed due to that muscles and we'll talking about the epineurosis as well so we'll start our lecture with the flat muscles so we have three flat muscles so these um, these three flat muscles if I show them in this diagram you see the top uh, one is your external oblique muscle and the inner one if you if I hide this one we have got the internal oblique this is the second muscle of the flat group and the third one is your transverse abdominus muscle right over there on this side this is your transverse abdominus and this one the, the outside is the external oblique as you go from outside to inside from the side from this side from lateral side you'll start, we will find out that the out, 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 outer muscle of, of the flat group you have the external abdominus external uh, oblique as you go inside it is internal oblique and as you go much deeper you'll find out the transverse abdominus muscle so uh, remember that uh, there are three flat muscles located laterally in the abdominal wall stacked upon one another. Their fibers run in different directions. If you find out the, uh, the uh, transverse abdominal muscle fibers run straightward and this is different for this one. We'll talk about that one in just a bit. Across each other extending the wall of and decreasing the risk of abdominal contents. Contents herniating through the wall. So in the anteromedial aspect, like in the medial aspect of the abdominal wall, each flat muscle, these, these are your flat muscles, forms an epineurosis. You, these flat muscles form an epineurosis called or, or broad, this, this big broad tendon, this epineurosis, which covers the vertical rectus abdominus muscle. This is your rectus abdominus. This muscle is your rectus abdominus. And... Uh, in between it, we have got this eponeurosis, which is formed by three muscles. You are rectus, you are not by rectus abdominis. Remember, it is in between rectus abdominis, but it is not formed by the rectus abdominis. Your linea alba is formed by these three muscles called the internal oblique, external oblique, and your transverse abdominis, which cover the uh, from the linea alba. And uh, a linea alba is actually a fiber structure that is extends from your z process of the sternum to the pubic symphysis. Now we'll be talking about the first muscle, which is called the external oblique muscle. So the external oblique muscle, which is right over here, the outer muscle. So the external oblique muscle is the largest and the most superficial flat muscle in the abdominal wall. So its fiber run in medially. You can find out that way uh, that its fibers, if you see close to the fibers, it you can see this diagram that it is running to medial side, going medial side and inferiorly. So we'll call that the fibers of uh, uh, external oblique muscle run inferior medially. And there, if you're talking about their attachments, so remember they originate from ribs. Uh, let me let me let me remove the muscle so we get a good. Uh, I have to remove other muscles in order to show that but you have to remember this one so they originate from ribs 5 to 12 and insert into your iliac crest and pubic tubercle down there into your iliac crest and pubic tubercle right down there and on the iliac crest you have got this one on this side that is into the iliac crest right there and pubic tubercle right over there I'm going to talk about the function. Its function is contralateral rotation of your torso and its innervation is by the thoracoabdominal nerves which is from T7 to T11 
and the subcausal nerve, which is always there, which is T12. Uh, we don't call the uh, T12, uh, we, we call the T12 uh, nerve as a subcostal nerve. Remember this one as well. The second muscle we have to talk about is the internal oblique muscle. Let me let me put the muscle again. So this one, the last, the biggest one is the external. This one is the external oblique, and this one is your internal oblique on the other side. I have shown. So the internal oblique lies deep to the external oblique. It is smaller and thinner in its structure, uh, with its fiber actually running superior medially, like going superiorly and medially. And we learn in external oblique, their fibers are coming in medially, coming down and on medial side. But in the internal oblique, they're going superior and medially, perpendicular to the fibers of external oblique muscle. If talking about the attachment, it's originated from the inguinal ligament, totally opposite. It arises from over here from the inguinal uh, ligament, your iliac crest from this side, while uh, and your lumbo dorsal fascia and inserts above right there into 20 uh, into your ribs number 10 11 and 12 We're talking about the function we know that uh, the internal oblique muscle has a function which is a bilateral contraction contraction compresses the abdomen while unilateral contraction epsilaterally rotates your torso and in case of nerve innervation, remember it's same as the external oblique, which is by the thoracoabdominal nerve, which is T7 to T11, and subcostal nerve uh, from T12, with an exception that in here it is extra, which is the, uh, there are a few branches from the lumbar plexus. Now we'll talk about another muscle by removing the internal abdominus muscle. We get to another um, uh, muscle, which we can see on lateral side, which is called the trans versus abdominus so the transversus abdominus is the deepest of the flat muscles with transversely running fibers you can see they're running that's why we call it the transverse abdominus so deep to this muscle is well formed layer of fascia known as transversalis fascia if we remove this one we'll find out a fascia but i haven't opened the uh, connective tissue so we won't might won't see it let me add up the connective tissues and remove this one and we might get the your what we call the fascia, which is called the transversalis fascia, deep abdominal fascia. No, it's not right there. And uh, all right, forget it. Just we can't see it in the picture. Uh, let me refresh the picture, and uh, we got your transverse abdominus back. So talking about the transverse abdominus, uh, we talk about the attachments. Remember, it originates uh, from the inguinal ligament again and uh, by, from costal cartilages from 7 to 12 costal cartilage your iliac crest and the thoracolumbar fascia it has big uh, you know origins and it inserts into as it goes down there straight down there it inserts itself into the conjoint tendon your z5 process on the medial side is going to attach to the libia alba right over there and the pubic crest its function again the compression of your abdominal contents. If you're talking about the nerve innervation, it's similar to the uh, internal oblique muscle, which was thoraco abdominal nerves from T7 to T11, your subcostal nerve, which is T12, and your branches of the lumbar plexus. Now we'll talk about the vertical muscles. We're done with the uh, what we call the flat muscle, which were three in number, the transverse abdominus muscle, the internal oblique, and the external oblique. In case of vertical muscle, we have uh, uh, two vertical muscles located in the middle line in the anterior lateral wall. Uh, one muscle is very prominent. You can see down there as we have removed other muscles. So this is called the uh, rectus abdominus muscle. This big muscle is called rectus abdominus muscle. So the rectus abdominus muscle is a long paired muscle found either side of the midline in the abdominal wall. It's found either side of the your linea alba and it's split into two by your linea alba. The lateral borders of the muscle create surface marking known as linea semilunaris. Remember, it creates a, uh, what we call the surface marking known as linea semilunaris. And at several places, the muscle is in 
intersect intersected by fiber strips in which is you know, these fiber strips which you, you can see in this diagram which are known as the tendinous intersections these tendinous intersection so this is how your six packs are going to, going to be there so this is the boy which are forming your six packs so the tendinous uh, intersection and lineal bug give rise to your six packs you might have seen ad packs but you have to give me an answer how uh, people develop ad packs because we understand six packs but somebody have to comment me and let me know how we get the ad packs and then I'll be going to answer it again when we're talking about the attachment remember the uh, rectus abdominis muscle is attached or you can say originate from the crest of your pubis right over down there if I remove the let me remove the muscle this muscle uh, okay, let me get rid of it all right you can see in this picture that it originates from the crest of the pubis before inserting into uh, going up and inserting into the z process if you again i remove the uh, what we call the linear alba and right over there you can see it is attached it uh, is also before inserting into the z process of the sternum and the costal cartilage five to seven of uh, talking about the functions uh, uh, it uh, it assists the flat muscles uh, in compressing the abdominal viscera the rectus abdominis also stabilizes the pelvis during walking and depresses the ribs all right now talk about the nerve innervation it has only one type of nerve innervation which is the thoracoabdominal nerve which is from the T7 to T11 um, now th which is also called the thoracoabdominal nerves which supply your muscle called the rectus abdominis now we'll come to the muscle which i call the paramedialis uh, it's a bit let me find it right down, there, right down there can you see that i can't see that let me see it where is it let me remove this muscle uh so we can see the more muscle which is paramedialis let me remove hide it again and uh, We got to have some other muscles and right there. So we got the, I can't see it right there. Let me isolate with the pyramidalis. We isolate this muscle. This small muscle right down there, very simple, a pyramid shaped muscle. You can see it right there. So this is a small triangular muscle found in superficial to the rectus abdominis. It is located inferiorly with its base on the pubis bone. You can see right down there. And the apex of the triangle attached to the linear alba, if I add up the linear alba, you could see, you could also see that it is attached to the linear alba. If I, let me remove this muscle, big muscle, so we have a good look at it. You can see this muscle, right, let me remove it and show it again. Oh my god, look at that eyes. Yo, ho, 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 ho. All right, uh, man, we have removed the linear alba, right? Doesn't matter. So we have this muscle small right down there exactly down there this is this is your small muscle kind of attached to the your linear alba uh, okay so its attachment is you if you're talking about the origin origin of this uh, uh muscle you clearly will be saying it arises from the pubic crest and pubic symphysis because it is close to your pubic symphysis and before inserting in the linear alba so its insertion is linear alba it function it acts as a tends to the your linear alba nerve innervation very simple it's subcostal that is t 12 muscle and uh, these are all five muscles which we have divided into five groups of uh, two groups of plate and um, you know the other other part and this is it regarding the anatomy of the anterior abdominal muscle hope you got enough of this lecture and you won't need any other lecture on the abdominal muscle so please make sure to leave a comment and let us know what way we can make this thing a better place a better platform to understand and uh, make sure so stay with us and keep subscribing. See you again. See you soon. Thank you.